Hi everybody, it's Joey, and <clears throat> I'm just going to talk in this video. Um, I don't know, I just want to talk. I just feel like... Oh, sorry, okay. I don't know, I just wanted to talk in this video. I don't feel like I talk enough. <clears throat> I don't feel like I talk enough. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um... So in this video, I'm going to talk about um, my thoughts on the Jeffree Star, um, new Jeffree Star collection. I'm going to talk about um, how I feel about New Jersey this season. I'm going, I'm going to put timestamps down below, just to let you know. I'm also going to talk about how my semester is going and just a few other things. So, okay. So just in case you were wondering, the lipstick of the day is Commando by Kylie with, um, Juicy lip gloss from Kim K on top. Um, so I got the two Kardashian sisters on my lips. Um, perfume of the day is Juicy Couture Gold Couture. <clears throat> and on my eyes, I have not busted out the Androgyny palette since I got the Conspiracy palette, but I decided to do Androgyny today because, girl. I don't know. It just went with this outfit better. So I have on uh, Military, Dominatrix, Charm, Safe Word, all those colors. Yes. I really do like Androgyny, actually. I really love the palette Androgyny. <clears throat> okay. Let me try to make some room. I hope you guys can't see this mess of a table. So I did film an outfit of the day. <clears throat> I filmed an outfit of the day, I think, like, a few days ago. I have not uploaded it yet. I'm sorry about that. I will upload it, um, soon. Also, um, okay. So let's start off with the Jeffree Star collection first. And then I'm going to do Jersey and then other things, okay. So the new Jeffree Star collection, <clears throat> I was blown away. I was really, really blown away. Now, not that I did not like Blue Blood. I love the color blue. Um, blue and purple are like tied actually for my favorite color. I think I like blue a little bit more actually, but <clears throat> I do love purple. And the problem I had with the Blue Blood palette was that the, there was too many blues. There was 90% all blues. And um, I know, even though I do love blue eyeshadow, I know I wouldn't get much use out of that. And I've been seeing the mystery boxes. And um, it's been in like almost every mystery box because I don't think it's selling okay. Um, listen. <clears throat> blue Blood is a beautiful palette. Let's just keep it real here. But, out of all the, like, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, that being said, I did enjoy the whole collection as a whole. I love the theme, the blue blood, like, being born into money. Or, like, um, I loved the lip scrubs. And I loved the, I just loved the whole blue theme, right? But this theme is like my favorite theme. I love how the purple, it's called Bloodlust. And I love how it's like in the magical, mythical, medieval arts, uh, medieval times type of realm. And I think it's so cool. It kind of reminds me of like the Sword and Stone or something like in that realm. And I love it. It's like one of my favorite um, design palettes. I love the purple velvet on it. I love the um, hexagon shape. I love the whole collection as a whole. And I what I liked most about it is that the palette is not just all purple like Blue Blood was all blue. It's actually a nice mixture of colors. So, so Bloodlust, I would say there's seven shades that have like a purple tone to them. <clears throat> but there's so many other shades that are like not purple. And I actually like that. I actually really, really, really like that because let's keep it real. Let's all keep it real here. If it was an all purple palette, no one would buy that shit. 
you probably would buy it for the packaging because it's Jeffree Star. But would you get much use out of it? No. So I love the fact that Jeffree learned from Blue Blood and he did not make the whole palette purple. He made, he did have, of course there's going to be purple shades with the purple palette. But it's not, the majority is purple and I, I do like that. Um, now, the shades. Okay, so there was this black shade with purple glitter. Now, I know when you swatch it and you put on your lid, oh, it's going to be beautiful. But I think applying that with a brush, no T, no shade, it's just going to be black, a matte black color, kind of like um, Black Rainbow in um, Beauty Killer, which I don't mind because that means it's versatile. That means that you can you can use your finger and get the purple glitter, or if you don't want the purple glitter, you can use the brush and not have the purple glitter and just make it a black matte color on your lid. So I actually like that it's versatile like that. And I'm just assuming, obviously, I haven't felt the palette, but I'm just assuming that's how it's gonna be because of Black Rainbow and Beauty Killer. But of course, Black Rainbow and Beauty Killer happened years ago and you probably update everything and there's different formulas and everything, but just some experience with glitter shadows like that. The pigment comes off like that with your finger putting on the lid, but with the brush it doesn't. And I actually like that, as I said, because um, it's versatile. You can do it either matte or you can do it with the glitter. It depends on how you apply it on the lid. There's, I love the red shimmer, the red, the red metallic shade that's in the palette. It's gorgeous. I love like this other like color. It's like a darkened plum. And then there's like this other shade that's like, it's like the neutral shade of the palette that's perfect for the crease. And I love like the pink glitter metallic shadow that is so beautiful. There's just so many shades that are gorgeous. Um, I'm really excited about it. However, me personally, it's not because of the palette. The palette's gorgeous. I just don't got that moolah to spend. You know what I mean? Like, I just bought the Conspiracy palette and I bought, also bought, bought Blood Sugar last year. And I love how he he did it similar as Blood Sugar. Like, I feel like Blood Sugar is not the whole palette's red and the purple, this purple blood lust is not all purple. It's just some purple and Blood Sugar some red. And I like how he did that. Um, I still think Blood Sugar is better, but I think Blood Lust is better than Blue Bud. And I think... Mm, I don't know. I still think my favorite palettes are going to be Blood Sugar and Conspiracy, but Blood Lust definitely comes... Um, Close to being third. Of course, Androgyny and Beauty Killer are nice, but Bloodless, I don't know. Bloodless is just something extra special about it. I'm really excited about it. Um, now, what I'm going to get out of the collection, I'm not getting any of the makeup. And I was kind of a little displeased that there was no lip scrubs. I thought he was going to come up with really nice flavors for the lip scrubs, you know, but there's no lip scrubs. This is really weird. He didn't have lip scrubs in the Conspiracy Collection launch. I thought that was because, it's, you know, he didn't want to do it with Shane, but then he doesn't have it in this launch. So I don't know if he stopped in the lip scrubs. I know lip scrubs do really well, so I don't know. He didn't, he has, there's no lip scrubs in this collection, which I'm a little bit displeased about because the lip scrubs are like one of my favorite products. But... He does have lip glosses, and I love his lip glosses. By the way, Diamond Juice, look at this. <laughs> like, nothing left. This is going to be in the winter empties. This is, like, nothing left in it. Um, so, it's, yeah. So, I love his lip gloss formula. And I knew the shades would be purple, so, you know, with purple glitter and purple-themed glosses. But, um, I wanted a... Like a, like a neutral more color. He has one neutral color, but it has like purple glitter in it and stuff. I just wish he had one neutral shade of gloss to mix in with all that, those purple glosses. But he doesn't. Like, I think all of them have like a purple tint or purple glitter or something purple in it. Um, but the packaging and everything is gorgeous, of course. There's the purple, like this, like the, the gold here is like purple um, to go with the collection. And he has liquid lipsticks. I don't really get the minis. I never get his minis, no matter what. I just, if I like a shade, I'm going to use the whole, I'm going to buy the whole tube of it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to, I know I'm not going to wear a lot of those purple shades. So it's like, I'm not going to get the bundle and is what it is. Like, it's just not going to happen. So makeup wise, the only thing I probably would have gotten was the palette. <clears throat> and then he has a Extreme Frost, which... I'm not an ex extreme frost is too much. It's like too much, and I like I like highlighter, but and his all his highlighters are really pigmented and really shiny. 
but uh, the extreme for us is just too much. It's like, it, it's just killing the game. It's just, it's overkilling it. You got what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I just would not be able to, to use that. I, I do love the Supreme for us though. Like Diamond Juice, I mean Diamond Wet. I do love this. This I love, and I always top it with um, with his skin frost. But I know the extreme frost would be too much, so I'm not gonna get that. So there's no makeup I would get except for the palette. But I will be buying that jacket, that purple jacket. It looks gorgeous. I'm definitely getting that jacket, and it comes with like this custom Jeffree Star hanger. It looks so cute. And then I might get a mirror. Even though I have a mirror, I have the jawbreaker, pink jawbreaker mirror from last summer. I also want one mirror to, because sometimes, like, I, I wanted a mirror as, like, a time sake, as, like, a collection piece. But then I want another mirror to actually use. So, I don't know, that's so stupid to say. It's so silly, but it's just the truth. Like, I want one that I can keep clean and keep, you know, pr pristine. And then I want one that I can actually use. And the one that I want to actually use is actually for, not even for makeup. Oh, it could be for makeup. But I also want to use it for, like, sometimes when I... I clean up the back of my neck with a razor or I don't know if I just do something you know just clean up the back of my neck or if I'm shaving like the back of myself you know what I mean I can use the mirror to help me like the handheld mirror to help me and, and look through the back and you know what I mean so I might get the purple glitter one um yeah, but that's all I'm going to get out of the collection. Um, I do like the collection as a whole. I love the theme. I just wish she had lip scrubs, and I wish she had more um, lip products. Maybe, like, a lip ammunition or something. Um, maybe, and another, like, maybe a neutral gloss added to the collection. But um, other than that, the collection is very aesthetically pleasing. And um, I think it's going to do really well. Um, it's definitely going to do better than Blue Blood. Even though, again, I liked Blue Blood. I know I keep shitting on it. I loved Blue Blood. But as, as I said, like, he just took the Blue Blood idea and just did too much with it. It was just too many blues. Um, so with that being said, let's talk about Jersey. I gotta file my nails. Let's talk about Jersey. Oh my god, I really gotta file my nails. It's like this nail right here that's like chipping I hate when once the nails start like to fall apart that's when you know you, you gotta get them done anyways so um New Jersey now right off the bat making it short and sweet this is not my favorite season it's not and I'm actually glad I'm not doing episode reviews for it because this is not my favorite season um this is probably I don't know the sixth season will always be my least favorite but I think the 10th season is like kind of close to like being one of my, I don't know why. I mean, it's good, but it's not like, I don't know. Like there's just something missing from it. I don't know. Like the last two or three seasons were like, oh my God, like so good. And then like this one is just kind of like not comparable, you know, it's still good, but it's not like, so I do like that, you know, they kept the same cast. I do like that. Um, they're really delving deep into Teresa and Joe's marriage and divorce and all that stuff. Um, what I don't understand is that they're not really talking about Teresa's affair with this guy. They, they kind of spoke about it a little bit in the first episode. This is the thing. Now that it's nearing to the end of the season, <clears throat> I don't like that Danielle was friend of again. But she wasn't even a friend of, she was a guest. I mean, she wasn't even a friend of this season. She's barely in the season. She's, she's a guest. That's cool the way it is. And I think that's why she's like, you know what, I'm not even... Why would she want to stay on New Jersey? Andy was so shocked on watching her. Oh my God, how could she leave? But why are you so shocked? You made her, like, you're basically, you're not having her in the show. She's a guest. She's not even in the show. So why are you so shocked that, that she wants to quit? I mean, I would not be shy. I would have quit a long time ago. Danielle's too good for me because after the first season I came back and I was a friend of, if they didn't make me a main the next season, I would have left. So Danielle stuck around too long for my for my for her own good because I would not have stuck around for this long. Um, 
the whole let's talk about the big key po the key moments of this season okay so we'll talk about the hair pull and the, the, the whole thing there okay yes danielle was in margaret's face but um i think margaret started a, um a lot of that fight she's been um s starting a lot with danielle and uh, yeah danielle is is like a very inst she's a big instigator like she'll say something and she'll sit there and she'll be quiet and then you'll go at her and she'll just sit there and be quiet but it's like they did start with her a lot this season and you know it is hurtful to be left out of things and melissa just completely jumped on the bandwagon i mean melissa is just she's ridiculous like there was no reason why she has a problem with but danielle like, you know that, that makes no sense to me but um I get why the other girls have whatever feeling they don't like her, whatever it is. But the whole hair pulling and, and water thing, I just felt like she shouldn't have thrown the water on her because she already threw wine in her face and she knew, she already knew, okay, she shouldn't be doing stuff like that. And she goes and she pulls water over her head and it's like, and then she's like, why did Teresa not have my back? It's like, I mean, come on, like, I mean, I get it, like, she was, Danielle was in your face and whatever, but you both were going at each other hard there, and you poured the water, I mean, you did, and that was wrong, I mean, like, you can't say that that was right at all by any means, I mean, you can't just pull water on someone out in public in a, in a, in a boutique, I mean, that's just not appropriate. I know she says she was embarrassed about herself, but I mean, she's did this before, um, the water thing was too much. She definitely shouldn't have done that. Now, the hair pulling thing, I'm torn because I feel like she shouldn't have pulled her hair from behind her. That's pussy, Danielle. That's very pussy because that happened to you. Didn't that, that happened to you with Ashley and you didn't like that at all and you made a whole big spectacle about it. So you should not have pulled her hair from behind. That I don't agree with. But I do agree with you putting your hands on her. <laughs> you should have done it to her face. You shouldn't have waited to behind her back. But um, you, but yeah, I mean, come on, like you're. This is the second time you're throwing a drink in my face. Sorry, but I'm putting my hands on you. Sorry about that, honey. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how anyone else would react, but um, I'm for Danielle with that. I don't think she should have took her shit and threw it in the candle. I think that was just. I guess she was just at that point. She was looking for anything. She shouldn't have done that. She should have just hit her she should have just beat the crap out of her honestly she shouldn't have touched her things i just feel like she should have just retaliated either throwing the drink back in her face or literally whooping that ass because that's the second time throwing a drink in my face and i ain't about that life so um <clears throat> so i get why Teresa was like in the middle because it's like okay well she threw the drink first but then T danielle did go behind her back and pull her from behind um so yeah, I can understand why Teresa was in the middle, um, and why she didn't choose a side in that because they both were, they both were wrong. Um, <clears throat> at the end, they both were wrong. So, with that being said, I do like this season. That's a big thing. Another moment was was Jennifer throwing the, the the plate across the table because of what Melissa said. Yeah, Melissa talked out of her ass, but that's how Melissa is. She makes no damn sense sometimes, and she's just. I don't know, she's just stupid. I don't know, I just don't like her that much. I don't know, Melissa's just wishy-washy with me. Sometimes I like her, sometimes I don't. But you didn't have to throw a plate across the table. Like, you could have been like, bitch, what you, you know what I mean? Like, you threw a plate, whatever. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, I mean, whatever, the finale is coming soon. The whole, the whole thing with Joe and everything. Yeah, we think, we know Joe cheated on Teresa. Um, we know Teresa cheated on Joe. The difference is, I think Joe cheated on Teresa early on in the marriage. And I think Teresa cheated on him way after everything happened. Which I mean, way after he went to jail, way after everything happened, like while he probably was being deported. That's when I think she cheated on him. So, not that it's right, but I feel like I can understand where Teresa's coming from more because it's like, you're saying all this horrible shit to me. You're going to get deported. You may We may never really being live in the same house again so of course we're getting a divorce i can see why Teresa would cheat on joe at that point but um i think joe cheated way early on and that's what's fucked up because you know he 
he's a cheer, he's an adult, he's an adulterer, whatever you want to call it. He did cheat on her way before this. Now, partying with the girls, this is not considered cheating to me because they're separated. And even if he cheated before they legally separated, if they're going through all this shit, I can see why he would cheat. But, like, I can see why she would cheat. Because it's like, there's really no marriage at that point. You know what I mean? I mean, it's it's an, an what's the word? An, an inevitable? Inevitable? Well, I don't know what the word is. I think you got, I don't know what I'm going to try to say, but, um, it's going to happen. Like, this guy's obviously not coming home at this point. She's not moving to Italy. Ain't going to happen. He's been nothing but rude and horrible to her. I don't like the way the daughters are choosing Joe's side either. I think that the daughters are choosing Joe's side. I get it. Like, you miss your father, blah, blah, blah. But, like, at the end of the day, it's like, what, are you just going to sit there while your father just tears down your mother? Like, I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I feel like they should have definitely not have, um talked against Teresa the way they did. They did a little too often this season. And it wasn't right. The one scene that really, really pissed me off and really made me cringe was the Mother's Day scene when she's sitting on Mother's Day and she's having a great time with her daughters and then Joe calls and he's just being rude to Teresa and the girls are like, yeah, yeah, daddy, yeah, yeah, daddy, yeah, that's right, mom does this, yeah, mom's wrong. But I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, it's Mother's Day and, and, and what he's saying is so rude. Like, how could you... I don't know, I really not like that scene. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, the season is not my favorite. It's not my least favorite, but it's not my favorite. Um, so the whole thing with Danielle betraying Teresa, <clears throat> that's coming up. We see a little sneak peeks here and there. Let me see what we're up to so I know what time. Okay, I'm going to end this in like five minutes because I'm talking a lot. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so... Um, Danielle sits down with Melissa next week and she basically tells Melissa that uh, the reason why she pulled her hair was because the owner of the restaurant told her to and then Teresa kind of agreed and said, yeah, you should pull her hair. Listen, if it happened or it didn't happen, if they said that to her or didn't say that to her, they didn't put a gun to her head. She did it herself. She pulled her hair herself. But it's also not like something that's like a betrayal because at the end of the day it's like if i was Teresa, i would be like yeah i did tell her that yeah you threw water on her i would have hit you for her <laughs> if i could have um uh but yeah so it's like i don't know if danielle really spills tea because at the end of the day if Teresa did say that to danielle um what's the big deal at the end of the day it's like yeah, I probably would say the same thing to my friend. I'm like, he just threw, she just threw water in your face. Like, fucking defend yourself. Do something, bitch. Like, pull her hair. Do something. Whatever. Like, I maybe I'm just too gangster. I don't know. I mean, I'm not gangster, but you know what I mean? Like, to me, I'm just seeing the way I would do it in my situation. If someone threw a drink in my face, I'm swinging. That's just who I am. But, and if I saw someone throw a drink in my friend's face, I would tell them to swing. That's just the way I am. So I don't think that Teresa's wrong for telling Danielle that. I don't think Danielle spilled tea by repeating it. But I think Melissa goes back and tells it to Teresa in a gossip type of way. But the way Danielle did say it was like kind of like, yeah, I mean, I did it because she told me, you know, she kind of put the bug in me here to do it. But um, no, she didn't. No one put a gun to your head. You did it only on yourself. And you should defend yourself. You should have done that. I'm sorry. I'm, but you shouldn't have done it from her backside. You should have done it when you were facing her. You know, you shouldn't have waited till you, her back was turned to do it. That's what you fucked up about. But I do agree with you putting your hands on her after those second time she threw drinking your face. But, um, that's why they're not friends. I think that's a stupid reason. I just think, if, if I was Teresa, I'd be like, Danielle, listen. Say it the way it is. I did not force you to pull the hair pull her hair. At the end of the day, you did it all on yourself. And um, at the end of the day, if I told you that, I told you that. You know? Can you blame me? I mean, I think I, I think anyone was probably like waiting for you to do something, you know? Even though after you 
but she did pull the shit. She shouldn't have pulled the shit into the candle. That's when she, that's what she shouldn't have done. I feel like she should have just whooped that ass and not like put the shit in the candle. Cause I feel like that then she overkilled it. Then I'm like, oh, she already got her back with the candle and then she pulls her hair. So it's like, now she's overdoing it. But, um, I don't think that's something that should ruin the friendship. It's really not that big of a fucking deal. Okay, Danielle said that. I mean, yeah, Danielle said it to be shady, but I mean, it's not like this big secret that dropped. Like, this big bomb she dropped that's like, oh my god. I mean, if Teresa said it, Teresa said it. I'm not shocked that she would say something like that. I mean, that's a friend. Like, oh, whoop that ass, you know? Um, but I guess that's the deterioration of the friendship. Now, I think Danielle, the reason why Danielle really said this was because I think she wanted an excuse to leave the show. She said, Teresa's my only connection to the show. And if I'm having a tiff with Teresa, then I have no excuse to come back. And I just think she wanted that, that reason to fight with everyone. So she wasn't, so she, she could have just been like, listen, I ain't coming back. But I think she wanted to have, leave with a little bang, I guess. And so she said that, whatever. But I don't think it was a big thing that she said, honestly. Um, so yeah, that's, but I think it was more shocking that the, oh, cause she said the owner of the boutique told her to pull her hair first. I think that's more shocking because the owner of the boutique, why would he want a SmackDown going on in his store? Why would he want her to pull her hair in the middle of his, his store? So I'm more shocked about that than, than Teresa saying it. <clears throat> but the season's good. It's good. It is what it is. Not the best, not the worst. Um, it's almost over. I think that next season they should keep the whole the same cast. I think they should get rid of Jackie. I do like Jackie, but I do think that she needs to go. And I think they need to add someone in Jackie's place. Um, or they can keep the whole cast, the, the original cast, and then just add someone else. So have seven cast members. Um, but yeah. So Danielle's definitely not coming back. She already announced that. And, um... So yeah, I mean, I guess the original six can come back and I think they need to add someone else just to spice it up. Maybe add some more friends of, like maybe bring back Kim G or Kim D or something just to spice it up a little bit. Um, yeah. So I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I was going to talk about something else, but this is, I've been talking for so long, so I'm going to end this. I'm going to put timestamps on when I talk about the Jeffree Star collection and then when I talk about Jersey. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go now. Um. I'm going to do a room tour. I know I keep saying that. I said in my after day that I didn't upload yet. I'm going to do a room tour coming this weekend. I'm going to do it this weekend. Um, I'm probably, you probably aren't going to see me, my face, because I'm probably going to have no makeup on. So I'm just going to show you the room, like my bedroom, like after I clean it. Yeah. I, um... I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, bye.